Great project like that is really simple. All you need is the right product and a little bit of guidance. And that's why we've headed to stampinup.com and we brought in Heather Summers with the, you get the guidance part, right? This one, essentially, uh, you're just taking some family photos on a simple frame and put on really a big sticker. Basically, yeah. So where do we go? Uh, we check out stampinup.com and we pick our design. This one you've picked, uh, they look kind of like, uh, like a little floral thing. Long stem silhouettes, yeah. There you go. And we end up with a big sticker that looks like that? This one actually comes, it's about four and a half feet tall and about a foot and a half wide. Oh. But I've just cut a little piece off to show you how to apply it and just the fact that you can use bits and pieces to make one big design. Right, so we get, how do we get from this to on here? First we got to scrape it? Just, sure. On the back side we have grid paper and first you have to buff the paper. So to do that you're just going to take your applicator and you really just rub and apply pressure. And by doing that you're getting the vinyl to adhere to the front side of the transfer. So we can stick it on? Stick it yeah. up. So we're going to uh, buff it first and then you're going to peel it back. And when you peel it back, your vinyl is um, out to the open. You don't want to touch it or you're going to take away the adhesive. Right. And then you're literally going to stick it wherever you want, on any hard surface and you're ready to go. Okay. If I stick it on and it's not right, can I pull it off real fast and put it back uh, on? Don't pull it off really fast. You can kind of, if it's stuck, you can kind of just take your finger and dab it and just pull it back gently and it will come off without sticking. Gotcha. You have to apply pressure for it to stay where you want it to be. So we're doing this one on a wall but we got some other examples coming up. So yes. we got her on our wall, now what do we do? So it's stuck on your wall, what you're going to do is you're going to start by putting a straight line down the middle of your um, image. And to do that, or sorry, the reason you do that is because you want to apply the pressure out. To so I've drawn my line and now you want to just gently rub the image out. Because I'm because I'm getting rid of any bubbles that are inside there, right? Exactly. Am I using the right side? Ah, uh, the flat edge works oh. best, but you know. <laughs> oh, this way. <laughs> flat edge, yeah. There you go, there you go. So I rub it all out and I get it all smoothed down. Do I have to wait till it adheres to no, make it tack? No, it's, it's, it's sticking as you go, so you're just going to rub out and really, it's, uh, it's pretty quick. It's an inexpensive way to do home decor. And then you're just going to peel this backing off. I'm going to let you do that so I don't okay. like it on you. And as you peel it off, nice. you can Look at see that. that the image is now Stuck. And you know what? Your side's got no bubbles. My side's all bubbles. Well, you know. And But you can kind of work them out as you go. You can. You can just apply a little bit more pressure and you can get those bubbles out. Darn you bubbles. Uh, where can I do this as far as uh, I need a smooth surface so my walls are good? Wall, glass, uh, a vase, a curved surface works. You just have to be a bit more patient. I've done it on fabric, lampshades, picture frames, wood. Anything that Anywhere basically you doesn't move. You've got a couple of different frames there. So you took I the do. same big piece and just a pair of scissors cut it up? I did. So in my living room, actually, I have this uh, large image, four and a half feet tall, in one section. And then I have my large photo frame with the matching uh, home decor element on it. Through. And then uh, to carry on our themes, you've done the exact same thing with the uh, napkin rings. So Stamping Up carries matching stamps. So this is pocket silhouette stamp set that matches what's on your wall. So you can carry the theme throughout an entire room. And uh, so I've applied that to my napkin ring holders. And then I used a different design, the always bird here on my vase. And so again, it's hard, it's smooth, I can apply it. Uh, as I say, a little more tricky on a glass vase, I'd start flat and then uh, work into something a little bit more step complicated. Step one and step two. And uh, yeah. they come with lots of different designs, including, uh, For sure. including a whole bunch of letters. You've done your daughter Emma's stuff. I have. So this is the monogram letters. So I did Emma's name on a bench. Uh, the neat thing is you can, when you buy a letter for only $4, you get the capital, the upper and the lower case. So I was able to do the bench and then the matching picture frame with the letter E on it. Some awesome ideas. Uh, unfortunately, you. we're running out of time, but you've even put together a little, quick little two minute project. A couple little stamps I can make. You made Emma her own little post-it notes. For her doorknob so she can leave us notes all around the house. Nice. So uh, yeah. you should probably write Emma stop watching TV and get ready and go to <laughs> get school. Get ready for school. Exactly. Yes. And then you can stick that and Emma can find her way to school. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some neato stuff. Uh, you want to check out stampinup.com for all the information. So uh, Cheryl, now that I've got some ink and some stickers, I can come decorate your house. Oh, perfect. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and with Christmas coming up.